it's between the gal and we are back over in planet zoo and um we are going to go do some stuff for getting our gray seals in but i wanted to show you guys this cute little um otter pup it is so adorable i love it but uh i must have missed it being born uh but yeah it is it is super cute i wanted to get in the water again but I did some work in between episodes trying to set up a uh, kind of an area that will put the gray seals. And so I want to show you guys that. Let's get out of this. Um, so what I decided to do was um, go ahead. Let's not do that. Let's go ahead and set up another um, path area over here so you can see. We've got a path that comes out. Actually, I don't even know if that path is working. It does not look like it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so we've got um, the path here. Uh, they don't look super great. I've worked forever on these paths, and I cannot get them to look right. Okay, that does work. Awesome. So let's go ahead before we go down there. Let's fast forward so it can become daytime. Because trying to see underneath in the tunnels at night is just not fun but yeah so this is where we'll, we'll put our gray seals and let's go ahead and go down here so the um path doesn't look super great like i said i i tried to i tried to get it to look a little better but i don't know it, it's weird looking but it works um, this path, unfortunately, does have stairs at the end. Um, I try not to do the stairs. I try just to do ramps, but this one will have to, um, have the stairs just for that side. And, um, that ramp, for some reason, just looks odd. I don't know why. But then we go around here, and this will be where we have, um, you know, where we can see the the gray seals and then we can go out um, this area which I think this ramp looks a little bit better <laughs> uh, maybe just a little bit but obviously um, if you look at the ground around it it doesn't look super great but we got all of that going and um, I, again let me know if there's something I'm doing wrong with these paths like digging them in here because I don't, I haven't seen anybody with this much space around their paths, and I don't know, like, I don't know what else to do. Let me check something real quick. If we hit escape, let's go to settings. I want to see, because I think if I go to game, yeah, I have disable scenery collision, track collision, terrain collision. So I have all those turned on, so I don't know why it's giving me such problems, but oh well, we'll be fine. So what I want to do is make our gray seal habitat go um, uh, kind of like the otter habitat. So what we'll do, I think, is let's see, let's go from trying to think so we want the um glass to be the barrier obviously so we can just go down under the ground here and working underground is so hard it's just like i don't know it seems super difficult to me but let's go ahead and use our terrain tool And, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I want to do flatten to foundation here. Okay. So we'll flatten this out to make a little bit. And I don't want it to be super wide um, just because I think it'll be easier to see the animals if it's not super wide. And I kind of want to get it... Um, with a, some like variation here 
in like how far it goes back. So I think what we'll do is something like that. And then we'll have it go. I don't want to do. I don't want to use that anymore. Well, I'll do this. I'm trying to think where we want it to actually come up out of the. Let's see. We'll have it come up like that. There we go. There's the. There's the sky. I like it. So let's do this and then we will go up just to see where we're kind of at right now. Obviously we need more, more room than that, but let's do, a bit like this area, there we go. And let's look at, no, habitat. 2153 land, 3229 water. Okay. All right, that's, that's fine. So they need a little bit, they need more water than land, but not by much. got a little area here now um, I initially made it way too big I think so we'll see if this is gonna work a little better let's see if we can okay yeah they still have plenty of room still probably too much but oh well it's fine uh, I don't want to I don't want to make it too small but what we're probably gonna do is make this a two-part episode um, so we can get into the actual designing of the, um, of the habitat later. And like, uh, like I did with all the other ones, I would like to replace this stuff with rocks, um, and make it look a little bit, you know, less concrete looking, <laughs> but I got a little area here where people can come up and see them up on the top here. And then we can also go down um, and look at them down here. Oh no. This, I, I hate trying to work underground. Okay, let's see. 
There we go. I think. So we can look at them under here. And um, hopefully that will work out pretty good. Again, I want to probably make this look a lot better as far as getting rocks in here. I don't know if we can use the underground, the feeder. Um, oh gosh, in here it looks even... Okay, why does it look so good? Oh my, that's, that's just annoying. Because I can't see what I'm doing in here if it's this bad. Uh, you know what we probably need is a water purific uh, purification. That's probably what we need. Okay, so let's see. Um, I have the... Um, I connected this up to this uh, staff area. We could add some more stuff to it. But like I said, I think we're going to have to add a water temperature. Let's check that real quick. Let's see. Uh, water. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Although, I don't know why the water is blue if it, if it needs work. But, oh, well. We'll go ahead. Um, I'll put it on this side. And we'll want to add something to block the guest view from anything we put over here. But let's go ahead and do a facility. And we will go down to water. Um, let's see. Water treatment. I guess we'll put a water treatment here. But I also want to put a water temperature regulator here. Okay, because we probably need that. Let's see what these guys like. Uh, does it tell us here? It says we're at the deep water um, requirement, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and play, so hopefully the water will clear up. Um, and let's look at our gray seal here. Um, 5 to 77. Let's see. And this is at 68. Let's actually move that down. I think they'll like it down, down more. I'm going to leave it about there, I think. That'll work. Uh, is there anything else we can change with this that I'm not seeing? I don't know. Treated bodies of water one, range. Okay. Uh, let's actually change this. We'll do every three months. And I don't know if the mechanics... Let's see, let's go to work zones. Um, okay. Let's just say we could do chimps because they're right here. Let's see. If we do that, uh, we've got Keeper Hut staff room. Let's go ahead and add these two. Because there is a mechanic in this area. Add that. I think that'll be fine for now. We'll see. Okay. So we got that going. Should work out pretty good. I think. And I think I already... I guess I didn't need to close that. I think I already um, did... Oh no, I didn't add these uh, the research because they were in the quarantine. So I could not add them. Where is it? There we go. Gray seal. I really like that picture. That is so cute. He loves will put you on uh, the gray seal research. Get to do that. And let's see. I want to add something to this habitat here. Nope. 
Okay. Let's see. I'm going to click on this guy. And habitat, temperature, it's too hot. And obviously enrichment. Let's see if we can put in some stuff for the gray seal here. And then we'll probably call it good on this one. And then we'll come back and do more work next time. Uh, I really like these these little platform floats. I'm gonna add one of those just because. Um, like I said, I don't know if we can do the feeder or not, but we'll see. I mean, it says the the deep water is 100%, so awesome, we can do it, super cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call Kiefer to Habitat fill that um we may oh that'll work all right and then let's see we can do jetty bedding or see all of these are going to be too big i think yeah it's gonna like take over the whole thing don't want to do that we'll go ahead and give them a sprinkler out here and we also need to give them some coolers Really, I have to take off the gray seal to get whatever. Okay. I don't know exactly what temperature they like, but we'll go ahead and place some coolers here. I don't want to get it too close to the area where people are going to be. I don't think it'll matter too much to get it too close to the other animal because I don't think they'll mind it much over there so let's see if they like that oh look at that <laughs> just having fun and I want to see about getting oh come on getting some um, trees in here at least environment we need uh, Europe North America and then uh, tundra, aquatic, and temperate. Let's see. Nature. like that this feeder is working down here. I was afraid it wasn't going to be deep enough. But it is. So super cool. But I could do this all day, you know. Um, might come back for the next episode to like so much more. Protesters have arrived. Awesome. Great. So if we look at this um, front area... This is really clear, um, the water, and I, I've looked at, uh, or I watched a video of Delay Designer, who actually went over how to make your water look clear, 
And one of her tips was to put some land in between um, where the uh, barrier is and where the water is. And that kind of keeps the water away from the barrier, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, it literally looks like there's no water in here. Um, which, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or I don't like that. Let me know what you guys think of it. Because, yeah, it's... I don't know. So, we look in here. It definitely looks like we're underwater. So, I don't know. It looks kind of cool, I think. Um, and we can still put some... Like some bracken under here and uh, just have things growing um, along the bottom of the water as well. Um, I'm, I am going to have to look at their traversable area though. That may be something that has uh, limits us on what we can actually put down here. I kind of like this area over here. It's like a little cove they can swim in if they want. I like it and then what we can do is take off all of those reset filter and what I want to do I know habitat is a disease risk I'll look at those later so one thing I don't like about those is I can't like actually get rid of the messages for good um, which is kind of annoying but it's okay let me go ahead and take that off and let's go to nature and rocks and um well they're right here so i don't have to worry about it too much uh we can leave it the the color it is i kind of like it that color and um just kind of go crazy with the the uh, rocks because i like to go crazy with the rocks <laughs> the rocks are fun to gr go crazy with um, and it kind of blends, the colors kind of blend in with this area. Uh, we could always change it if we want to, but I think I kind of like it. And let's see if we can add it here a little bit to the back. That'll work. And I, I usually le leave the align to um, surface on for this because it's a little bit easier. That way you don't have to worry too much. Uh, you can like rotate it so it doesn't look like the same as what you just put down. But I like having the align to surface on because you don't have to worry about it too much. Super cool. And we can also use the smaller rocks to add a little bit more variety. Kind of like that. And I always like to add these little things, but let's see if I add something like this. I don't know if the seals can go through this, but, and this might be a little bit too narrow of an area. Let's see if we can put it over here. I don't know why. I just like to add these little arches. I think they're cool. Although I think I'm going to have to have it get daytime to be able to tell if that actually is at a good spot. But there we go. And then we can add a little uh, jetty bedding out here for them. So they can... Uh, nope, that's not what I want. So they can sleep and uh, closer to where we can actually see them. Let's see, uh, that's it right there. So we can add a little area over here or, you know what, let's make it over here where the uh, people are going to be at, or at least they're going to be more over here, I think. So we'll do that and actually, well, let's see. I don't know. Like I said, we'll we'll try uh, to make it look more exciting next time. We need to add some information boards and donation boxes and all that fun stuff. But we will do that next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. 
Also, if you're new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you want to play this game, check out any of my social media or Patreon links. They're all down below in the description. Check those out and come over and have some fun over there. And if you um, have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, definitely leave those down below in the comment section. I'd love seeing those and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And until next time, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a super blessed night or day wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.